With Autodesk reducing the development it's doing on AutoCAD and uh, no longer offering customers permanent licenses, it makes sense to take a look around to see what could fill that gap. NanoCAD is worthwhile considering because of its similarities in the user interface, the command interface, and lower price, and even has functions that AutoCAD does not offer. Let's look at some of the similarities between NanoCAD and AutoCAD. Up here we have the menu bar and you'll see many of the similar commands that you're used to. There's the toolbar, and when you right-click, you can choose additional toolbars to turn on and off. The uh, functional item are the panels or palettes, like this uh, properties palette over here. Down here, we have the command interface, and when we start to enter a line, you can see the pop-up of suggestions. And then along the bottom is the uh, status bar, with various toggles to turn on and off. The most crucial area of compatibility, of course, is DWG support. When you click open, you can see that uh, NanoCAD supports DWG, DXF, and DWT, which are template files. But more than that, it also supports uh, sheet sets, it uh, imports uh, PDF files as entities, and so on. When you're going to be switching to another CAD system, then the most important thing is that the command structure is the same. And that's the case here in NanoCAD. So I'm just gonna show you how that works. I'm gonna type in the arc command, and you can see there's the various types of arc commands. I'm gonna do it by three points. Start here, and then I can use uh, geometry to help me find where to pick the second point and then finally the third point and so you can see there's dynamic input there's snaps and and all the other tools you're used to from AutoCAD up here we have the uh, draw commands in the menu uh, modify commands and as we go down the list you can see there's uh, many that you're going to be familiar with plus a few extras dimension commands formatting tools, styles, and so on. When it comes to interactive editing, NanoCAD is much the same as AutoCAD. Pause your cursor over an entity and it highlights to indicate which one it is. This is useful when there's many overlapping entities. And then this quick properties tool tip comes up and tells you what the entity is and the properties of it. When you click on it, you get the blue grips. Click on a grip to uh, modify the entity, press escape to stop doing it, or grab the center grip of a polyline and uh, change it as well. Press escape to end the entity selection. So that was some of the things that NanoCAD and AutoCAD have in common, including being able to handle uh, 3D laser scans that form point clouds. I'm going to switch over to uh, some of the things that NanoCAD can do, but that uh, AutoCAD doesn't. Now uh, here we see a raster image. AutoCAD does that, but what AutoCAD doesn't do is uh, separate rasters. That's if there's multiple copies of the same one that lets you extract them. Here's a bunch of more commands. Uh, four point correction. That's if you want to uh, uh, correct an image. If it's not been scanned properly, it uh, handles de-skewing both automatically and manually. Manually being where you specify the points. And it can do raster editing. So here's the pencil command. Select the white color. Specify the size. And then you can... Uh, just draw as if you're uh, in a paint program. And in fact, that's what that is. I want to finish off by showing you how powerful the tables are in NanoCAD. And this is the sort of stuff you're not going to be seeing in AutoCAD. So we have here a uh, bill of material that's uh, showing some blocks over here and then the results here and got subtotals and totals. So for example, if I take this block, copy it, and then paste it into the drawing, you see over here the, n the numbers update automatically. Behind the scenes, there is this spreadsheet-like interface for editing it. And so you can see here the, uh, the title, um, the three different types of blocks here. And you can uh, change the expression. So object name is defining the various objects in the drawing. Here's a formula, counting them. And then here's a variety of uh, commands for formatting and adjusting it. So 
as well as interactive versions of it. So this is for grouping and merging. Here we can uh, select the source objects by quick selection. And so we've done a uh, on layer architectural decoration. And like in a spreadsheet, you can uh, add and delete rows, create pages, and convert the different kinds of table styles. CAD program is no good if you can't customize it or program it. NanoCAD comes with many of the same customization and APIs as AutoCAD. Let's have a quick look. Right click to get to the customize the dialog box and uh, you can uh, customize the status bar here, pop-up menus, shortcut keystrokes, object actions, and so on. For APIs, you have ones you expect, such as uh, the list programming language, scripts, NRX, which is equivalent to ARX, and then perhaps most interesting of all, the Multicad API. This is one that has functions that are common to many of the AutoCAD workalikes, so you can write an add-on for one and it works on all. Unlike Autodesk and its developer program, the developer program at NanoCAD is free.